Oh, look! It's a shooting star! Make a wish! Hey! What's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Q-Ranger DX Caesar Blaster! So here we are, and there it is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front here, we have the Caesar Blaster. We got Shishi Red. And up top, we have the rest of the Q-Rangers leaping into battle. On this side of the box, we have all of the Q-Rangers. On this side of the box, we have Shishi Red. Oh, like, I'm about to shoot you in the face for justice. And on the bottom of the box... We have images of all of our cute angels. On the back of the box, we have your obligatory product shots. It does this, that, the other, all that stuff. And you have Sad Pac-Man! And that's basically it for the packaging. So moving right along, here we have the Seiza Blaster, the transformation device, the henchman device, the change of the morpher, whatever you want to call it. This is what the Q-Rangers use to transform into superhero mode. But we're going to take a look at this in a little bit. But the first thing we're going to look at is the included Q-Tama. You do get another Shishi Q-Tama here for Shishi Red. And um, it is basically the same Q-Tama as the one that was included with Q-Reno. Um, you have the same little sliding feature here. When you bring that around, it completes the image of the lion. And there you go. And just for a comparison, here it is with the uh, Shishi Q-Tama that was included with Q-Reno. And you can see, molding-wise, they are exactly the same. Um, you have two differences. Uh, the bottoms, you can see the one that was included with the Seiza Blaster has a transclearant bottom, whereas the one that was included with Kirano has the non-clearant bottom. Which also extends up into this section right here, as you can see. But, molding wise pretty much exactly the same. Just the only difference is the transclearant bottom right there. The other difference, oh, we need our buddy Kirano to show off here. So let's just get up here. And we will take this Kutama and plug it into Kureno's chest. And you will now see what happens when we turn it on. If I can find the switch, there it is. So you can see, instead of the image of Shishi Red sitting in the cockpit, you get a different image there of the lion, which is pretty cool, so. There you go. So that is the included Q-Tama right there, the Shishi Q-Tama. And that's all there is for that. So moving on to the main event, here we have the Siza Blaster, which is a uh, another wrist changer, which is also in the shape of a gun. So it's a gun-shaped wrist changer. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely interesting and definitely fun. I really dig this. So let's get in close. Yeah, so we can see the details. Lots of nice silver paint going around the star there. Looks very nice. You get a lot of nice metallic blue as well, which looks gorgeous, along with some gold details picked out. And again, that looks wonderful in my opinion. It's more of that blue and gold. Got some orange here for the barrels. Obviously, right here is where your Kutama is going to get plugged in. You have a trigger right here. You also have a button right here to activate noises. And going down the handle, you get some molded detail there as well. Get some more of that nice silver paint. You get some nice black paint on the handle section here, which does have a, a nice texture to it. I love when little details like that are included. Just give me that texture, like it's like it's a real, you know, like, like it's an actual grip. I love that. And going down the other side here. Yeah. You can see some more of those details picked out in silver. And overall, very nice looking toy. Here's the back side, or the underside, with some molded detailing as well. And yeah, so here is your battery compartment. It takes uh, three AAAs. Your on-off switch is right here. Your speaker is right here. And again, your activation buttons are right here, and your trigger right there. And that's what's going to activate your noises. And yeah, so of course this being a wrist changer, you do have an extra strap right here, which is done in a nice, like sparkly silver 
and uh, very soft, very soft and bendable, and um, actually does make this a lot more comfortable to wear, so I do very much appreciate that. Now you just take this, and you just slide it underneath these rails right here, and then you just have these little, these little speed bumps here. <laughs> That's what I call them. And you just take the speed bumps and they just sit in between the rails. That way, that strap doesn't go anywhere. Once you have that done, you just grab hold of the handle here and you just secure this onto your wrist. I'm not gonna waste time trying to get this through the, through the loop there. I'm just gonna plug this on like that. Come on. Boop. And there you go. There you have the size of blaster. On the wrist. Now there's not a whole lot of room here as you can see. I mean, I granted I have the hands of a little girl, but even <laughs> my hand is a little bit kind of squeezed, a little squozen up in there. You know, I, I, I have barely enough room in here. So obviously in the hands of somebody with actual adults hands, um, this probably won't work out for you. For me, it, I mean, it still fits comfortably, but just uh, the, the, the tiny bit cramped. But once all this is secured, as you can see, I mean, I can I can swing my hand around and, it, you know, it's not going to fly off or anything. So it does hold it on your wrist very securely. And, yeah, so there you go. So I guess we better just get down to some noises, shall we? Let's so. We're going to turn it on. Your on-off switch is right here. Turn it on and you get... If I can find it, there we go. Get some nice LEDs that go off in there, which also reveals some cool detailing in that screen there. And you can push the button to activate your shooting noise. Nice bright red LED goes off in there. You can rapid fire if you want. Just go nuts. Shoot all them monsters. Shoot him dead! And you can also pull the trigger. You get a different shooting noise. You can rapid fire that as well. And there you go! So without further ado, actually one more thing to show off. Uh, you can hold this button down and you'll get... A yellow LED that goes off in there. Okay, you can see that detailing in there, which is really cool. They get that noise. At any point, if you want to cancel it, just push the button again. There you go. So now, let's get down to transforming. So, you want to take your Kitana. There's only one way for this to plug in, as you can see. Just line the shape up and just bring it down. Get your standby noise. And the way we're looking at this, we have up, down, left, right. So to begin the henchman sequence, the transformation sequence, we're going to move the Kutama to the right. And when you're ready to go, just pull the trigger. So, start change. And there you go. <laughs> and it's just funny the way it says she she really quick at the end there, but <laughs> there you go. So we have now changed into she she red. So there you have the Kutama plugged into the size of blaster. There you go. We can continue shooting if you want. And there you go. So yeah. So now at this point we can activate some other functions here. So after we have transformed, we can do an attack. So to do an attack, you want to move the Kutama to the left. So just move it over. And when you're ready to go, you can either pull the trigger or push the button. And there you go. And to do a big final attack, you want to move the Kutama to the left twice. Galaxy. Oh. Stand by noise. 
And when you're ready to go, either pull the trigger or push the button. And explosions and things happen because it's awesome. And there you go. <laughs> So now from here, we can summon our Voyager. So to summon the Voyager, you want to move the Kyutama up. Hey, let go! <laughs> and we're ready to go. Again, either pull the trigger or push the button. There you go, we have summoned the Shishi Voyager. Now at this point, when you hold the trigger down, you're going to get... Hey, the control! And now we can control the Voyager, so now you can move the Kutama in any direction. It'll make the same noise no matter what direction you move it in. There you go, you can control your Voyager! And at any time when you want to, when, when you want to stop this, you just either pull the trigger or push the button. And that cancels the noise. And there you go. So now we will move on to our combination, and to do that we're going to move the Kutama down. So again, either pull the trigger or push the button. And after that, you get this little standby noise, and you can move the Kutama to any direction you want. There you get those noises. There you go. And when you want to cancel it, just pull the trigger, push the button. And there you go. And that is pretty much all the noises that it makes. Now, the Kutama is locked in here. So when you want to release the Kutama, you just want to push down and out on these two tabs right here. And there you go. So there you have that. So moving right along. Let's take a listen to what noises the other Kutamas make in the Saiza Blaster. So we will start off with Okami the Wolf. And let's go. Okami Kyutama. And let's transform. Nice bright blue LED goes off in there. And let's go! Start change! Okay. Okay. And there you go. So now we'll do our attack. Now for our big final attack. Galaxy. And now we will summon our Voyager. Control our Voyager! Hey, the control! <laughs> That's just a weird noise. What's that supposed to be? Is it chewing on something? I don't know what's going on there. But anyway. <laughs> uh, now we will dock. Uh, 
Yeah, there you go. So you have the noises for oh, Kami the wolf. So you have that. And now we will move on to Oshi the bull. And we will change. Start change. Oshi. <laughs> so now we'll do our attack. And our final attack. Now we will summon our Voyager! And now let's control it! Sounds like it's gargling! I don't know. Maybe that's supposed to be like the tank treads moving, I guess. There you go. <laughs> and now we'll duck. Let me get your other docking noises. And there you have Oshi the Bull. So moving on to Chameleon. And we change. Start change. You have to me the on. And now we'll do our attack. attack. <laughs> you have that. And our final attack. And now we will summon our Voyager! Voyager. There you go. So now we will control our Voyager! There you go, now we will duck. Let's get your other docking noises. And that's it for the chameleon cutama. And last but not least. Kajiki! Kajiki And we will change! Start change! So you 
got Pat the key. And now we'll do our attack. And our final attack. Galaxy. And explosions and things happen because of Shasha. And we will summon our Voyager. Let's control our Voyager! Change the control! Sounds like a jackhammer. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> and now let's dock. Then you get your extra docking noises there. And that's basically it for the Kajiki Q Tama. So there you go. And that is pretty much it. I believe that's it anyway. I, th I think I got everything. As always, I, I do the best I can with these toys. So if I missed anything or messed anything up, my apologies. But, you know, like I always say, I do the best I can with this stuff because I can't read the instructions. I just go by what I, uh, what I can find online as far as how these things work. You know, I watch other people's reviews and whatnot. And, you know, I try to translate as much as I can out of the instructions. But sometimes that doesn't always work. Um... <laughs> I've had more failure trying to translate stuff out of the instructions than I've had success. So, you know, again, I do the best I can with this stuff. So if I miss anything or mess anything up, again, my apologies. You can kind of see, <laughs> you can see where the changer was kind of digging into my hand right there. Because it's, it's a little cramped, even for me. But, um, yeah, and uh, just for a quick comparison, which I forgot to do, um, here it is with last year's changer, the, uh, the Juo changer. As you can see, there you go. <laughs> Obviously a lot more going on here. But there you go. But I like the Duo Changer, man. I thought this was fun. Probably more fun than it should have been, but I, I really like the Duo Changer. But there you go. And there you have the uh, Shishi Kyutama that is included. One thing that would have been really cool, it's not a deal breaker that it doesn't do this, but it would have been so cool if it did this. Because when I first saw this Kyutama with the trans clear and bottom, I automatically thought, oh, it would have been so cool if there was an LED in here that would shine up into the Qtama and light the Qtama up while the noises are going off. That would have been so cool. Again, it's not a deal breaker that it doesn't do that, but it would have been so cool if, if that had been something that could have happened. But, you know, but still, um, very cool changer. It's fun. I dig it. I dig it very much. So, there you go. Now, I picked this up from Hobby Link Japan, HLJ. Of course, there are many other sites you can go to for stuff like this if you are interested, such as CS Toys, Ami Ami, Hobby Search, Mandarake. Of course, there's always eBay and Amazon, but do be wary of their pricing. You can also check out BigBadToyStore.com for Super Sentai Toys. There'll be a link to their site in the description down below, so you can check them out. As of this recording, they don't have any Q-Ranger stuff up for sale yet. I don't know if they're going to get any stuff for sale, but you can check with them regularly if you want to purchase from them. You can also check out the Q-Ranger playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below, so check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M-Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say, so there is the Q-Ranger DX Seiza Blast and this is Mgo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek, be proud, pull me in your face.